Hey YouTube, same outfit, different video. Um, I wanted to come in and just talk about why I am not buying into the denim craze that's been happening right now. <laughs> First of all, I mean, I think it's clear that I don't really believe in buying into every single thing that, you know, your favorite brand produces or every single trend, because I think that could lead into overspending. I also think it could lead into overbuying and hoarding. I think you have to be kind of honest with yourself about your personal style and your handbag habits um, when it comes to these things. You know, I, I do consider myself a coachy these days. I love coach. Like I feel like they've really come up um, compared to the bags that I'm used to seeing from them. Like back in the day, like 2007, 2008 um, and onwards, they were not on my radar like that. Um, also, I wasn't really into handbags, so I can't really say, you know, I just knew that I, that particular brand was something that I, I, I hated to see, um, mainly because of monogram. Like, I feel the same way about Louis Vuitton. Um, I, I'm not a fan of the constant canvas and charging so much for that. And I'm not a fan of having the beige brown color scheme all the time or having LV stamped everywhere. Like, I don't feel like it goes with my personal style and I that's what deters me from the brand. Like, I just not into it. Um, but that's all per personal preference. But this denim drop from Coach, I feel like they completely knocked it out of the park. Like, I can't even lie. I loved it. And what's crazy is they didn't reinvent the wheel or anything, but it was such a hit. They just took one piece of every silhouette and made it denim. And I felt like that was just, it just elevated the entire range because it just looked it just looked amazing it made people like me who's not a fan of denim bags love it you know what i mean uh, my favorite from the denim line believe it or not it was the cassie 19. It's shocking to me because one i don't like denim bags um i feel like even because you know handbags are expensive anyway to charge the same amount that we just paid for the tabby, the quilted leather tabby, $550, $600 after tax, right? To turn around and charge the same amount for a cotton bag that's denim. Like, I just felt like it was overkill for the price. Um, I was thinking to myself when I saw the, the denim line drop and I saw the craze over the tabby bag and I did not like it at all. I didn't feel like, not only did it not ser uh, serve my personal style or whatever, I just wasn't a fan. I can't say that it's ugly. I can't say that it's not well made. I haven't touched it or anything, but just for me, the silhouette of the the tabby bag, I much prefer that in the leather. Specifically the quilted version with the um the C's that are, you know, the metal. Um I don't really like the leather covered C's on the quilted tabby either. Um, but I just felt it kind of it was kind of ridiculous because my favorite brand of jeans, right? comes from a brand called A Goldie. It's not a cheap brand by any means. It's kind of like rag and bone, I guess, and on that level of pricing, if you've ever heard of either one of those brands. But not on sale, you could pay anywhere of like $200 on up. Sometimes you might find it under. Um, and on sale, you could probably find it for like $100, right? I figured I can get three pairs of A Goldie jeans for $550, $600. Um, and wear those for years to come and it's literally covering a part of my body versus spending six hundred dollars on a denim bag that probably is just trendy i mean let's be real it came in the y2k when i was in middle school lv had that ugly denim line that they resurrected from the dead and just kind of looks the same it's I feel like LV is a dumpster fire a lot of the times with their designs. I don't know if you even saw that they started making the um, the shape bags like Coach did. I saw a little puppy one and they made it out of canvas. I, they're probably charging like $5,000 for that little thing. And they did it way worse than Coach, who also did it. They did it in canvas, but um, Coach also did a lot of leather in their shape bags. And I just feel like Louis Vuitton, I don't know who, sorry, I don't want to offend you guys. Who, who love that kind of stuff from Louis, but I just, I don't get it. I don't get why you spend that much money for an ugly piece of shit. Anyway, I feel like Coach did it the best out of a lot of people. I was watching, oh God, I forget his name. He's so funny. He wears like the fur coat, really chic. He does a lot of Coach videos and he 
like kind of podcasty style and also uh, shop with me. I think his name is Scott. Scottylicious McFabulous. Um, I'll link the channel down below and he did a video on Damn the Denim and I completely agree with everything he said. And he brought to my attention the Givenchy boyfriend jeans bag and I swooned. I was just like, oh. That bag, I added that to my wish list so fast on order show, knowing I'm not gonna spend 30,000, I mean 30,000, $3,000 on it. But that was the sexiest like denim bag I had ever seen. And when I was telling you that the Coach Cassie denim was my favorite bag, like I like that better than um, the Quilted Tabby. And I also really like the Billfold wallet. So I was like, okay, if I did get something from the Coach Collection denim drop, I would also get the Billfold wallet because that was my favorite thing of all the things. But for bags, I really like the Cassie denim and I don't like the Cassie any other time because I feel like it's, it's a little too simple and straightforward for my personal style. So it, I, it just was kind of a boring bag to me. So it wasn't something that I would uh, gravitate towards. Um, it's classic. I don't think you can go wrong, but it wasn't for me. But I felt like the Denim Cassie had the best value for money. It's about $2.95, I think. It's still available on Nordstrom. So if you have Nordy Notes, if you're part of the Nordstrom Credit Card Club or whatever, and you have Nordy Notes, you can also apply that and get it for even cheaper. Um, it's still available there if you're interested. But I think it's the best value for money because it's way more versatile. You can interchange, you get three straps that come with it. It's a chain, a top handle, and a crossbody strap. Um, you can, all of those are detachable, so you can even add on your own strap if you wanted like a Vaquetta leather type of strap to elevate it even more. Um, you could wear all of those at three times, uh, at the same time, just strapped into each other and create a different look. You could remove one and wear two. You could remove two and wear one. Um, I liked it with the chain over shoulder, like I had with the Quilted Studio. So I feel like the, that Cassie, the denim one was the best looking. It had the clean lines and it had the most versatility. Um, I don't like the way the denim looked in the tabby, the east-west kind of a look. I felt like it looked kind of chunky and uncomfortable. But again, I haven't seen it in person or felt it, but it looked beautiful on the unboxings. So if it works for, you know, everybody who bought it, then it works for everybody who bought it. But I do feel like the Cassie would work better for my personal style. So if I were to get one, it would be that. And also the denim heart bag, the whimsy of the denim heart. That one was so great. I saw Millie um, unbox it on her channel. She, I love that. You know, I love the, the coach heart and I had the black one in my Nordstrom wish, wish list for months now. And I knew it was too small for my everyday needs. So I was like, you know, it'll just be like a little treat. It'll be something novelty, but I couldn't pull the trigger. I never pulled the trigger because it was just, certain bags are distractions. And you know, I wanted a YSL bag um, as my for, as uh, like my main bag. So I just kind of put my money aside for that and like just working my way up to get that. Um, but I never pulled the trigger. And even when I was able to just go ahead and pull the trigger, I never did. And I don't know if it was because it was black or what, but I saw that denim heart and I was like, dude, that one is great too. I don't want to have two of them. So that's, that's where coach will get you because it's like they are more affordable. It's easier to save up for it. Um, so you're like, oh yeah, let me just get it. Let me get to, you know what I mean? So that's where you can end up just having a bunch of stuff and everything just getting pushed to the back because you just wanted it. So yeah, I'm so uncertain if I want to get something from that collection because I don't want to make a mistake and just have something there that I'm never wearing. I just, if I do reach for a denim bag, it'll probably be the Cassie and I'll probably treat it like a throw around bag that I don't really care about if it gets worn and tattered and stuff like that. Um, because it is a trendy piece. I don't see it as something that I would love forever. I just see it as something that I like right now and I'll probably wear for like the next year or two. My favorite things from that collection was the Denim Cassie 19. I love the Billfold wallet and I love the charter pack from the men's line. And I felt like um, I would get the most use out of the charter pack um, when I'm traveling, like, like when I'm in Vegas and I'm on the strip hands-free, that would be perfect. Um, even if I'm like just out and about and I'm hiking with my husband and my son, or we tend to live near a lot of cities. So if I just want something like another sling pack that's in denim, it'll work a whole lot for my lifestyle. So I will get those three things and the denim heart will just be something that I was just in love with that I wanted to have. 
Um, so I'm unsure. Um, I'm sure if I did decide to participate and buy something from that collection, I will come on and share it with you guys. Um, but for the most part, I want to focus on my actual curated collection for my personal style that I can take throughout my life. I have to pay attention a lot to that aspect because we are not settled right now in our lives, um, my family and I. Um, my husband travels a lot for work from place to place. So when I buy these things, these physical items, I really have to take into consideration that I will have to move, which means I will have to pack, I will have to lift, I will have to wrap and put it in the car or the moving truck or whatever and take that with me to my next destination and I just cannot afford to buy everything that I love um, or everything that I like or I'm attracted to. Like I have to absolutely take that into consideration that you will have to pack these things up and move it across the country. I'm willing to have like one box, you know, so if it cannot fit in that, into that one box, save the one that I'm carrying on the way across the country where we're going. If I can't fit it in that one box, then I have to leave it behind. So that's that's kind of like my mindset. Like I'm not good at this stuff. So hopefully I can like insert pictures of the things that I'm talking about. Cause I do really want to show you guys how sexy that Givenchy boyfriend jeans bag is. That's what it's called if you want to do a quick Google search. But that was the bag. That was the bag of this whole denim craze. Like it's not the coach tabby. I'm sorry, it's not that bag. If I just had 3,000 and I could just blow on some some denim that's not covering my butt, you know? <laughs> if I just had that, I would just, I would have swooped that up just that that's something that I would love to, to tote around with me my whole life. That bag was, that was the jam. That was the thing. And it made me like not want the Cassie. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh yeah, I can't do the Cassie. Thank you for watching. That was just my quick spill on the coach of denim. Um, I'll see you again another time. Thank you, bye.